Does your dog have some unwanted behavior that you cannot seem to fix? Well, Patty is here, brought to you with Pet Pal TV <laughs> along with Nathan Lowe. Thank you so much for joining yes, us, Nathan. He is known as the American Dog Whisperer who yes. has helped canines all across the country. Yes, sure. What do we need to know? Wow, that's a loaded question. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what the first thing is, is that it really isn't about training the dogs so much as it's about the people's willingness oh. to be trained. Mm. Because energy and what you project to a dog is number one. Yes. Do you know, I found that I've, I've consulted with dogs all over America and even across the world. And what I've found is that um, people in America like to give their dogs lots of, you want to go here, you want to go here. <laughs> yeah. And, and this, talk too fast and yes. too loud. And, and then when yes. you do something, you go, like for Harry was jumping on you, you just went boom. I said, hey. So dogs don't... And he stopped. And what people do in America is they make their dogs neurotic with too much conversation. I've worked with dogs from overseas that have come here, and overseas people will feed a dog, but they're not like, hi, baby, you want to... <laughs> and this makes a dog like this all the time. Uh, 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 so okay. we're getting them too excited. Yes. And also, they don't know what you're on about. So when you're doing all that, they're assessing, did something change in the, did, some, did somebody come to the window? Sure. They're not thinking emotionally, she just loves me. It's, she's going crazy and I don't know why. Sure. So yeah. what is it, what is it, what is it? This drives neuroses in yeah. them and then we can't train them when they're in that state of mind. And a lot of people uh, think, oh, if I give the dog a treat, well, that encourages him to do right. more, whatever. Then you're rewarding neuroticism. But he's the pack leader <laughs> and I've seen him in action, meaning, Two dogs that were like going to fight, and he just stepped in between Ooh. them, and they were, and these are big dogs. Yeah, and they, were they weren't <laughs> treats, weren't they? Wouldn't stop no. anything. They saw you, and they're like, "Oh, he's in charge." Well, okay. you got to do parental behavior, so they know what it is when mama or papa tells them, "Knock it off!" Right? There's a there's a bristling, there's a moving toward, but people never replicate that kind of parental activity. They just say, "Oh, you know what to do. Don't be bad." Are you being authoritative Ooh. like another dog would? No. So you step in, you say, "That's enough." And they back up, and then we're back to relaxing again. Yeah, yeah. And we, we, snap on, snap we have off. some video of you working, too. We've got uh -huh. so much to talk about. Go ahead <laughs> and roll that video. Here you go. So here's a shelter dog named Amelia. Amelia was completely wild. Here's me teaching her to stay back from food. So see, it, see how I ask for space first? Now I step forward and ask her. There yeah. she goes back. Look at that. And so with body language, and then I slid it to her. These were a bunch of boars, boar size, I think they're called. They're a Russian breed that would just charge the door when people mm. came. This was a huge shift, four of them. So here, body language again to ask for space for my guests coming in. I'm not going to let them crowd. So you're the door. not hurting them. You're oh, just no. saying, you're just telling just them little nudges. We're in charge. Exactly. Now here comes the guest. Now what I'm doing here is claiming the guest wow. as my own. Mm. So the guest is my puppy. You guys need to back up. You see what I'm saying? Dad. That's the message they're getting. And then they come up all nice. Okay. Oh. Now we can chill and smell. And then it's fine. Okay. Here was a really wild shelter dog named Barry, teaching Barry to not dash out his kennel, because he wanted just. See again, asking for space, mm. and then shutting the door, and then he can come up slowly. So these are examples of wow. body language with dogs. You don't need to yell. You don't need to lose control. In fact, if you lose control, you're definitely not the parent if you've lost control. Their their parents don't lose control. So it's, stop it, stop it. Hey, hey, come on. Uh, uh, just all that. Too see, much. see, you just yeah. whipped around when I did that. It is, it is too much. That's right. Tell yeah. us what are some concerning behaviors. Well, concerning behaviors. Um, Boy, there's a lot of them. So, so one thing would be people allowing their small dogs to sit on top of them. Uh -oh. <laughs> now, I do not know this lady. <laughs> I have had no preliminary information, but if the shoe fits. So, so Sometimes I just want to be so kind. I know. <laughs> but let me tell you how a dog reads that. Yeah. Okay. When you sit a dog on your lap, that's a claiming behavior for the dog. And this is why little dogs can get real ooh, about other people approaching other people. you. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Mine. So even having okay. a dog beside you rather than on you helps ratchet that down a little bit. Whatever they sit on top yeah, yeah. of. Okay. They're claiming. That's absolutely Hey, Harry, right. did you say hi to Brittany? Did you say hi to Brittany? Say hi go to say, Brittany. Go say hi, and we'll, we'll teach you, you how to. You there can't you go. jump up there. There you go. Right. Oh, there we go. Look at us learning. Success. Yeah. Well, and, and you have for? helped to train dogs all over. You're the American dog whisperer yeah. now. And you've even done things overseas. Correct? Yeah, well, I've had, I've had people ask me for help from Scotland, from South Africa, all over. And, and thanks to Wish and their algorithm, the word gets out there. Well, and good. Like, this guy can help. So I appreciate Wish for that reason as well. Well, we appreciate you, you for Absolutely. bringing in all this great information that we definitely need to know. Of course, you can watch Pet Pals TV.
on our station, Wish right. TV. We have all the details you need on our website as well, wishtv.com. Pet Pals, they're Saturdays at 1030. And it's followed by Great Day TV. Great Day is first, and then Pet Pals TV. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We need How you, Patty. That? It's Thank an you. hour show, so just stay and relax and have some mimosa <laughs> or coffee. And, and <laughs> Speaking for yourself. <laughs> Harry, you're a good boy. Thank he you is. both for coming on the Thank show. You, Thank you for wow. all that you do. Absolutely. Great information today. Thank you. Now, and when you need help with your puppy. Yes. I know it. I American know exactly Dog where it com, or you can visit my Facebook page, uh, the American Dog Whisperer. You can send me a Facebook message or American Dog Whisperer gmail.com. And we'll get it on Facebook. Um, Facebook. We'll also you get, get it that. wherever you'd like. We'll uh, get it just on our website probably... and then post it on Facebook. <laughs> and we'll do a okay. story when you get training with him. Yes, because this, this, this yeah. is the person to be with. That's right. Nathan Lowe, thank you so much.